Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. So in today's video, I wanted to go over Ho Young as a bossy mule and give you guys, you know, my overall thoughts on the class as a whole, its pros, its cons, uh, go over training, bossing, all that good stuff. But first, real quick, well, uh, I'm in the intro here. I did want to say thank you guys for everybody recently on the overall support of the channel. You guys have been absolutely killing it. We're getting very, very close to 2000 subs. So if you're not subbed, definitely, definitely, definitely hit that subscribe button. We've been putting out a ton of new content lately. And we're also live Wednesday and Friday every single week uh, for about five hours every day. So feel free to swing by over to the Twitch streams as well. Uh, we're going to be doing a better job of keeping up with that in the future but with that being said let's get into the video first things first what i like to go over initially with bossy mules is how the training is to getting the class to 220 because i think that is a very important thing when making a boss mule you don't want to have a terrible time training a class and taking up a ton of time but for ho young the training is super 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 enjoyable and super fun you do get a summon that has a hundred percent uptime uh which is vortex and you also do get pretty good mobbing skills as well the training is pretty chill and relaxed you pretty much just stand in one area and attack and then place your summons down and then rinse and repeat so overall i would give this probably about a 9.5 out of 10 for training maybe a 9 but overall it's a very very solid training class and definitely very enjoyable for me i think i might take this past 220 but i'm not entirely sure yet but for now it'll just stay at 220 um and i did want to go over the gear here for you guys as well so pretty standard gear um everything is pretty much this two line a unique there's a few legendary things as well it is not four set superior at the moment it's only three set superior so once i get that it'll be fully geared and fully finished uh, but overall i do have pretty pretty decent gear on this class so now to get into bossing ho young has very 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 good damage if you do everything correctly um so with that being said what i mean by that is this class is very dependent on you playing the class correctly if you don't play the class correctly and you don't burst correctly you lose a ton of damage i definitely would not recommend this as like a top tier boss class i do definitely think this is a lot of fun but it just costs so much nodes to actually make as a bossing mule so i do want to go over the nodes here real quick for you guys these are the two like main bossing nodes is ground shattering wave tailsman and humanity these are the two boost nodes that you can pretty much get by using. You do want these other nodes as well on here, but as a 220 bossing mule, you don't really have that many node slots, as well as Wrath of Gods, Three Paths, and Clone Rampage. These would probably be your top five or top four nodes to go with, but the other nodes that you do want to have is tiger goddess blessing last resort obviously decent speed infusion and then sharp eyes as well these are the main priority nodes that you do want to have on hoyong as a boss mule but like i said as you guys clearly can see it is a lot of nodes and there are a ton of boost nodes on this class as well but i do want to make a point that you don't necessarily need all of the boost nodes on this class for it to be effective another positive with this for bossing is that it does come with its own bind so you don't have to worry about using a node slot for that which i guess definitely helps out the point of it being very node reliant but besides the fact of it having its own bind i definitely would say the other pros of this would be uh its overall damage as a whole it has a very high damage burst but it is a four minute burst but with all that being said i do want to get into the pros versus the cons on ho young as a boss mule so the pros like i said before it does have very very good overall damage uh, and it does have a very good burst it's definitely not a dps class comparing it to something like buck or fire poison but its burst is very strong the other thing is it does have very good mobility so you can move around very well throughout the map and this also helps like with bossing and stuff you do get this floating skill here but there is a pre-quest to doing it so it does take a little bit of time for people who do not know definitely do the quest because you do get fiend seal which gives you 10 percent attack 
attack and 10% final damage. So definitely something to make sure that you do when making this. Also, like I said before, another pro is that this class does have its own bind. I will say that Ho Young's bind is probably one of the worst in the game out of playing uh, a ton of other classes. It's very easy to miss with this bind. So keep that in mind. Uh, it's definitely not worth using a node slot though for the bind. Some other pros, the class is very efficient with mobbing and training and farming. So if you enjoy a class that has optimal training this would definitely be a good class for you and yeah that's about it for the pros like i said this isn't like the best class in the world to make as a bossy mule but it's not absolutely terrible as well so we're gonna get into the cons now um and there are quite a bit of cons for this class at least in my opinion first con would be the node situation this class does take a lot of nodes to be quote unquote fully optimized so with that case um i definitely would not recommend this for anybody especially nowadays with totems being removed it just takes too much nodes to fund properly to be the best that it can be the other con to this class is that it does have this gauge system and the gauge system can be a little bit confusing for somebody who has never played a class with a gauge system before but i just i do want to show you guys how the gauge system does work real quick here so i'm just going to go to a map and show you guys uh, so you guys can see that some of these skills down here have almost like a little lock you'll fill up the gauge by just doing like basic attacks and this will fill up in bosses without you having to actually kill anything but ho young has certain skills with these locks on the bottom right corner of the class and then it also has uh, other skills with like this square icon on the bottom right so the skills with the locks will use the inner gauge to fill up the outer gauge so see how I use that skill and then the outer gauge got filled slightly. Um, that's kind of one thing that is annoying about this class because to use certain skills and to use skills that you need for your burst, you need to have this gauge maxed almost at all times. So you do want to use this hyper skill Sage, which will boost this gauge overall just by you attacking and you don't have to use like these skills like you would usually have to. So it's definitely a confusing thing to learn up front and at first and definitely not something i would recommend for a newer player i will say though if you do enjoy combo classes and you do enjoy like doing a little bit more than the average character would have you doing you would probably enjoy this class but if you like more lazy bossing where you don't really have to think and you can just turn your brain off this is definitely not the class for you by any means another con that i have with this class is its main attack ground shattering wave here uh, when you're using this in bosses sometimes you can screw up your movement by like wanting to move over and then you accidentally hold it a little bit too long and then you end up sliding with it that can sometimes be really really annoying with uh, a boss like lotus where you'll slide and then slide into the lasers or slide off of the platforms so for me i'm gonna list that as a con even though the skill is very good it just can sometimes be annoying sometimes when you're in a boss and you mean to like jump right and you accidentally just slide left into something and then die but i'm sure that's something with time you would become accustomed to as like a main with this class but for a boss meal since you're not on it all the time it's probably a mistake that you'll make quite a bit early on um and then another con for this class as a boss mule is that it has skills that have a very long cooldown so most of the skills here are three minutes like wrath of gods bone rampage and then goddess blessing they're all three minute skills if not four minute skill cooldowns so it's not like you can just go from boss to boss to boss you do have to find this class quite a bit to actually be able to breeze through your bosses but like i said earlier like the burst is very good just speaking from a boss mule standpoint the the cooldowns aren't optimal for a boss mule so now that i've gotten like my overall thought thoughts out of the way my pros and cons i do want to recap everything and kind of give you guys my overall rating for the class so as a conclusion i would say if you enjoy a class that is good at mobbing and you enjoy a class that you have to put a little bit more effort in you would really enjoy this class but if you like more of a lazy bossing class do not play this class there's a ton of stuff that you have to keep up and a ton of stuff that you have to monitor while bossing so for that case i definitely would not recommend this to make for a newer player as a boss mule as a main guys and i want to make this a point right now ho young is a very 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 good good class but i'm only speaking in context for boss meals so please 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 keep that in mind ho young is very 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 good and it's very fun as well for a boss meal it's not something that i would recommend so overall 
for a boss mule rating, I would probably give Ho Young about a six out of 10. Again, guys, I want to make this a point that I'm not saying that Ho Young is a bad class by any means. It's a very, very good class, but as a boss mule, just not very optimal. Like I always say in all the videos, I'm not a Ho Young main. I know there's a few things that I'm probably missing here and a few things that I probably could have explained a little bit better. So if you are a Ho Young main, please leave some comments in the comment section below letting me know anything that I missed or anything that I could have done better showcasing the class. But with that being said, guys, that is going to wrap up the video and I will see you guys all in the next one. Peace.